only gonna see a month at a time. Let's go to work. I got these guys working 20 hour shifts. There's no way I'd give them second rate anything. Good night. <laughs> when I went for supplies, I wasn't too keen on buying the Rite Aid brand, but they had this deal. Buy the national brand and get the Rite Aid brand at half price. Rite Aid brand, now half price when you buy the national brand. And if it wasn't any good, I'd have heard about it. Rite Aid, it's not just a store, it's a solution. Hello everyone, they are building over there in the building right there on Southeast 3rd Way in Vancouver, Washington. So let's check this place out, shall we? Sorry, what's up there? Not anymore. Got some homeless people in the tent. Let's see those papers in the window. There you go. You can pause the video if you want to read it. Here's the inside. Everything is still in there. Yeah, I was expecting that it happened. With a lot of writer stores being closed, there are always empty shelves and other stuff left behind. I'm pretty sure most of the landlords are disappointed about it, which is completely understandable. However, only a few former writer locations get to have their fixtures sold by the auction company. Not gonna lie, I wish this one was completely empty. That would definitely give me a limit of space by for sure. Something is telling me that the Rite Aid company may no longer be a thing in the future. Things aren't looking good for them. I heard some people online are saying that Rite Aid is like a dying Kmart. I mean, that's true. Anyways, this Rite Aid opened in 1998 and closed the doors for good in January this year. So they basically lasted 26 years of operation. That's quite long. Too bad that they didn't make it to 30. Right now, there's only one more Rite Aid left here in the city. That would be on North Steve 162nd Avenue. I would not be surprised that one closes at any time. We also have a lot of right there stores in Oregon that have already closed. I know one is already out of business in my hometown. It's located downtown actually. I do have a video of that abandoned right there. If you haven't seen it, please do so in the description below. I don't know if I'll be able to cover the others in the near future. I'll do my best if I reach to a certain cities. Here you got the drive to pharmacy. Obviously no longer in service. More window picks. Got the mic. Here's the inside view of the old pharmacy. I read that the service was bad according to the reviews. Oh wow, check this one out. They still have power. That's pretty cool. You know what? The white circle and the light on resembles a fried egg. Haha. <laughs> I really love eating eggs for breakfast. They're always delicious as heck. Now let's check the old loading dock. A small window down there. We shall check it out. There you go. Got electrical panels to your left. That's quite a lot, I'd say. There are valves on the right near the emergency as the door. The dumpster area is a mess. Too bad. And that's pretty much it. There's gonna wrap for the video. Make sure to give it a like, comment, share, by doing so. And until next time, peace out.